welcome to data pandit uh, today we are going to talk about one another interview questions which is asked normally in a initial interview question okay so the question would be stated as uh, how 100 multi files or uh, serial files will be processed simultaneously using abinitio or it could be simultaneously or could be in sequential manner so when i say multi files so this could be asked in multiple ways actually so uh, it could be multiple multiple serial files multiple multi files or it could be at different tables right tables in terms of while reading or writing both ways okay so so this could be asked in multiple ways right uh, if we need to read multiple files and there is a target is one serial file or could be a target as an you know target table or or maybe a single serial file reading and creating multiple files okay that also can be a uh, one of the task right uh, like we have discussed in previous uh, previous video right so write multiple files or read multiple files so that can be uh, solved using that or any other multiple processing so the file would be uh, so in this type of questions what is the similarity is like uh, there could be a you know different multiple files coming in from a different region specific files right the revenue i is getting from you know different region like apac revenue file or uh, north american or you know let's say south africa so there could be multiple similar structured file right these are the revenue files coming from different geo geographical locations and we need to let's say uh, put into the one table or probably in the different table depending upon the region okay so all, all and all you know we need to process these you know hundreds of files okay so we need to design a graph so that it can be done in optimal way so first approach we we have multiple approaches so first approach we can do is like uh, we can create an a plan so so that you know we just need to uh, schedule that plan and that will uh, iteratively could be running and processing the files one by one or we can make that uh, plan to run concurrently or we can control the number of simultaneous running p sets right under that plan so when we uh, approach this uh, plan solution then what we are going to do is let's say we are trying to process this uh, revenue file so we can create a generic graph which will have you know input file or maybe input table let's say if we have to extract you know hundreds of tables from one database and need to load into the another database or probably create 100 kind of you know different different files right so let's uh, so we need to create the generic graph so if you don't know the generic graph it is in you know a graph which could be uh, it could be used for multiple type of uh, you know processing in the sense of the, the 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 underlying process will be same but it can be applicable for multiple uh, multiple uh, files or multiple you know uh, inputs depending upon the p set the values we are passing from the p set so uh, one graph can be used uh, in multiple places depending upon the configuration of the p set which we are going to create upon that graph so we are going to create the input uh, you know and then there will be a processing logic logic processing logic could be as complex as you know multiple join or multiple roll up or maybe some simple as simple as that of reformat or whatever okay and then there will be a target as an output so when we create a graph then there will be input of, you know input uh, parameters like dml name if the dml of these files are different right for the reading perspective otherwise if it is the same then we can use you know as a hard coded dml in hard coded in the sense of one parameter we can create we don't have to supply in different p set that that dml otherwise we can create the dml or input file name output file name these kind of parameters we can create those parameters can will be differentiating between the processing like first file we are going to processing so what is the dml of that first file second file then what is the you know first file what is the name of the input file you know output file these kind of p sets we are going to create upon 
uh, as part of that P set. Okay, so there will be multiple P sets. If we are processing 100 files, then we need to create 100 kind of you know P set. Then we are going to create a plan. So when we create a plan, so we will uh, have you know so because there are uh, hundreds of files, right, and number of files. So to processing for these kind of files, we, we need to uh, create uh, some iteration, right? Iteration could be sequential or concrete that we can decide upon later. But some kind of iteration could be there, right? We just need to schedule the plan and then iteratively it should be running for all 100 files, right? So to do that, we need to create a kind of some kind of vector. So all the files should be, you know, listed in that vector. So we can we can create some this kind of, you know, uh, parameter on uh, in the plan. Let's say direct, directly listing and, and this is the landing path of the arrive, you know, the place where, you know, of the ab initio server unix server where you know these files are getting placed from the source system right so this is the flip file and this is an you know there so in this kind of files you know some pattern would be there right revenue file from coming from mapac revenue file coming from nam region or south african region so there there will be a partly this will be you know this name would be kind of you know uh, pattern or if it is not then we can just put the star and date you know okay uh, if it, if those files are date you know of that kind of file then we will create the vector and then let's say in we are processing it is in a looping plan so we will uh, in the sub plan we can specify which kind of loop we are going to create so let's say i am creating the for each value loop because we have a vector so if we choose the for each value loop in the looping plan then there will be a loop value vector uh, parameter in the inbuilt parameter in that uh, in that type of lo looping plan then there we will specify this variable over here okay and then loop concurrent so there will be a another parameter inbuilt parameter which which will be you know asking your input whether we are you know processing iteratively one by one or it is in concurrent concurrent in the sense of multiple uh, p sets can be run together uh, you know in same parallelly so that we can specify whether we are going to do or not ab plan loop current value this is an inbuilt plan specific parameter so this will give the uh, current iteration uh, indexing of the value coming in from the value vector okay so let's say we have 10 10 number of uh, files to be processed so for first iteration the first value of the vector will be coming let's say first file name will be coming in as a ab plan loop current value for the first processing and if first processing is completed then ab plan loop current value for the second processing would be the name of the second file and so on okay and until uh, all the values are getting processed you know all the 10 let's say 10 or 100 so all the one by one this is get, going to be processed okay let's uh, assume that we are going to process uh, loop current concurrent as false then you know one by one all 100 you know values will be coming so the dml name input file name and output file name these values would be derived in at plan level using this ab plan loop current value okay so ab plan loop current value let's say we are processing for revenue file coming from apac right this file this value will be coming uh, as a first in the for first iteration ab plan loop current value will be equal to this one right <clears throat> so using that we can derive this dml name what would be the dml name let's say my dml name for the first iteration is uh, revenue uh, apac uh, format dot dml right so this we can derive so this revenue you know apac we can derive so the the this we can drive and then we can append this this will be similar for everything right so this this uh, the initial name we can derive from this one right depending upon the uh, we will see i mean depending upon the requirement and how the you know file name would look like so depending upon that we can derive this and similarly input file name also can be derived derived right Okay, because input file name would be uh, mostly you know equal to the ab plan loop current value because this this 
this is the uh, value of these uh, directly listing vector okay and output file name similarly we can drive underscore output let's say ab plan loop current value so this value let's say if you try to drive is equal to and dollar ab plan loop current value and let's say concatenate it with you know string concatenate let's say you need to uh, and you know let's say underscore or something dot date okay dot date something like that <coughs> So, uh, so from the plan level, we will be passing those values to the graph, right? Graph already have these kind of, uh, you know, P set already have these kind of parameter, okay? And the P set name also we can derive, right? So, for this file processing, what what would what you know we we name you know the P set is the revenue file apex dot P set revenue file name dot P set. So this kind of <coughs> we just take the string of this one. Before the you know uh, this one extension and, and dot p set is my you know the name of the so string manipulation and ab plan loop current value are the two things which will be used for derivation of these you know required uh, p set parameters okay so this kind uh, so if we uh, sequentially or parallelly we can configure it for each loop and uh, until and unless all the value file back uh, will be emptied all the processing will be done one by one so this is the first approach to process you know multiple uh, uh, multiple files or multiple uh, tables or you know um, or uh, any other multiple uh, you know processing you can think of our second thing we can do is you create np sets and or co call those p sets using a job, job scheduler so we can create the scheduler job we can uh, apply the kind of some kind of loop and one by one we can call those we said directly air sandbox you know run using that command so this that also can be done if it, if we have you know uh, some handful of uh, you know up file processing let's say 10 then we can just create a scheduler or something like that or we can have a read or write multiple files if it is a sim simpler processing like just need to read the files for 100 files from some location then we just use the read multiple files that's all or if you need to write uh, you know multiple files using some you know get file name function which we have already discussed in question number one so that also can be done or for parallel processing i told you right we can use the looping plan so looping plan can be used for a serial you know iteratively one by one or it is going to be con concurrent so uh, I, I you know explained for each loop so in for each loop this kind of you know, processing can be done if we know the number of iteration beforehand let's say only 10 files will be there in the directory or maybe we need to iterate the plan for 10 10 times so we can use the for loop okay and if we have a, some kind of condition okay so let's say we need to process something between uh, 2 to 3 2 am to 3 am okay so what we can do is we can schedule a job okay a schedule a job which will be uh, calling this uh, plan and uh, the while loop would be checked okay in the in the sub plan in the plan itself okay and we will be running as a until the 3 am so we can take the uh, clock from the system and the uh, until and unless that the clock hour is less than 3 am it will be running after 3 am it won't be running if this kind of condition we have or uh, or, or or any some some other condition right depending upon the uh, depending upon the requirement we can we can control this so this was uh, all about uh, you know uh, this questions actually so in other way it can be you know asked like under under you know multiple processing system so we can think of these kind of you know ideas okay uh, so with that uh, thank you so much please subscribe my channel and uh, please share with other others so that you know everybody can be benefited thank you so much